so Brandon Sanderson likes a surprise. Because I accidentally wrote an extra novel, in secret. I apologize, I couldn't help myself. Okay, no, understatement, he loves surprises. <laughs> he loves them. And so he likes to shock us as readers. Uh, I wouldn't say that he's the most plot twisty of author ever, but he loves them when he does, and they are big. So obviously huge spoiler alerts for this video. Uh, if you haven't read any of his Cosmere works, uh, Storm of the Archive particularly, uh, please do not uh, continue. Like, go read those books. They're awesome. Anywho, so I felt like when I read Rhythm of War, and here we are like a week out, guys, a week out from Wind and Truth. Uh, I actually haven't been reading any of the online chapters to keep up. Like, no, I want to read the book at, in its entirety, so I'm waiting. But anywho, we get a week out from Wind and Truth, and I'm just wondering, is there another big twist that he's got in store for us? Like, that's a big question in my mind. Because Rhythm of War felt like the book of twists. I, I mean, just obviously Terabodium was like the biggest twist. Like that was like, like, I couldn't breathe, like have my hand on my face as I'm reading. Like what in the world is going on? Uh, but also Raboniel turning around and stabbing your daughter. That was a twist. Hello. Excuse me. Teft. Oh, oh, right. So all these surprises happening, even wit in the epilogue, right? Like that moment freaked me out like if you're this being that's lived thousands and thousands of years what would be more terrifying than have your memories taken from you right like that's pretty creepy uh pretty terrifying pretty shocking uh so is there is there another shock that he's got left for us uh in uh in wind and truth that's my big question going in obviously i'm excited to see uh how things will, will turn out i think that that 2,000 years that, that Wit has bargained for is something that we're going to see, and that's going to be the difference between the timeline in Era 1 and Era 2 of Stormlight. Uh, so we'll see how that all pans out, and the champion. Uh, does, does Brandon have one more thing in that he's going to twist in us? Uh, and how are we going to feel about the resolution? Uh, I, I hope that it feels really whole and complete, uh, kind of how the end of the first Mistborn uh, felt, uh, just about as perfect as could be. Uh, and seeing as Stormlight's even dearer to my heart. Uh, I'm just excited as a fan, and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's go find out what this book is about.